not seeing the problem here. There's like a door. Right, yeah. That door would basically hit the other doors who tried swinging it inward. Only if you opened the left-hand door in and the left-hand right-hand door in. I guess. They might hit each other, but, if you, but room, you could though. open the left-hand door and the right-hand right-hand door and you'd be fine. I suppose, but like, why does that corner room need two doors in the same place? Well, because it would look weird if there wasn't a door there. I disagree. I think it would be fine if it was just a wall. Nonsense. See that gap between the door and the lamp on the other side? It looks weird because there's not a door there. They should have put a door there. Uh. Even if the door isn't actually a door and doesn't go anywhere, it would look better with there being a door there. See, things like this make me really want to see that floor plan of this place. <laughs> uh. It said not to open I the know. book until we finish the game. Yeah, we'll have to wait. <laughs> Ah. Will she now? I had no idea that the mansion had a 10 p.m. bedtime. The whole mansion? In addition to the 8 o'clock curfew for coming home, there seems to be an unspoken rule that prevents people from leaving their rooms after 10. Except to go to the bathroom, I guess. What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess some of his rules are still in place. Though I suppose that makes sense. The Tono family has functioned like this for hundreds of years, despite any technological advances or shifting trends. Old families sometimes do that. I don't expect anything to change just because Aki has taken over. I mean... Akiha, Hisui, Kahaku... CL, I think Akiya. Yumizuka, Noel, <laughs> like who are we talking about here? We got uh, Harach. Pretty sure we're talking about Akiya. Yeah. Right. I think she got rid of her relatives because she just didn't want them in her space. Yeah. Is the other thing. Bunch everything, of steaming people around her. Right? Everything here is so different. It has me exhausted. I'll head back to my room for tonight. It's 10 p.m. Okay. All right, well, time to go hang out with Akiha. Yes, we'll talk to Akiha in the uh, parlor. <clears throat> I made Akiha angry today. I'd like to try and talk a bit to try to cover this distance between us, or rather try to tear down this barbed wire wall. But it's late. She may be my sister, but it's not right to show up at a lady's room without an invitation. <laughs> I don't even know where her room is now. We just go around knocking on every door until you find her. I'll ask Hisui or Kahaku sometime. For now, I'll try the parlor. I know she spends time there after dinner, so it's possible I could still find her. おや。一日ぶりだね。ああ、名前というものは認めるに値するこんな時間に来訪ですかあなたは思わぬ思いを持つ。こんな時間に来訪ですか。あなたは思わぬ思いを持つ。こんな時間に来訪ですか。あなたは思わぬ思いを持つ。こんな
住民に眠りを強要する。彼は、okay. 夜を嫌悪していた。Yeah. Huh. 正確には夜に起きること。マキヒザは、ビッグアンティセクスエネルギー。ここは、洋館としての作りも、土地が持つ歴史も素晴らしいものだが、この決まりだけはいただけない。Okay, so you just stay up in the house and keep a lid on or something? I find myself defending my father despite his or my own issues with the policy. Feels like any slight against him is a slight against Akiha as well. に触ったかね、結構、少しは立場をわきまえている。感動された身であっても、父親の名誉を守る。マキヒサシはいい息子を。I'm not sure マキヒサ raised him at all. <笑><笑>こんな時間に来訪するのは非常識では、と聞いているんですが。非常識ではないよ。遅めの仕事を終えて自分の家に帰ってくる。Do you live here? ごく自然な日常では。あは。I'm taken aback. One's own home. Is he saying he belongs in this mansion? But he said yesterday that he wasn't a relative. 失礼。少々。He wants to live in the mansion? I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. What do you mean for now? Like, Are you trying to get with Akiha? I don't know. Goto Saiki gets up from the sofa with a low chuckle. He must mean to leave the parlor. 今夜は部屋に資料を取りに来ただけだよ、四季君。仕事を終えてというのは嘘でね。そうやの都市開発はこれからだ。まだ片付けなくてはいけない案件が山ほどある。今夜はネズの番というやつ。OK。私がマキシサシを避難したのはこういうことだ。現代のビジネスに昼も夜もない。夜になれば朝を待つだけなんて身の毛もよだつ方針だいつまでも全時代の気分で会社を回されてはこれを引き継ぐものが迷惑する Definitely he's talking around something Right? Yeah Go to Saiki exits to the hall I hear Kahaku's voice coming from the lobby She must be seeing him out Based on what I just heard, I think I can assume that my father and Goto Saiki weren't on good terms. Oh,、well, they didn't see eye to eye on some things anyway. Now I'm in an inexplicably foul mood. I'll talk with Akiha later. I'll just head back to my room and go to bed. <laughs> okay. It's 10 o'clock. Hmm. It is indeed 10 o'clock. Yep, we're good. All good. The lights in the room go out automatically. Wow. Apparently, things are set up so that all lights in the mansion go out when it hits 10, aside from those in the office. Manually flipping the switch should turn a room's lights back on again, but that's intended for emergencies only. They'd probably catch me if I tried to use my room's nightstand light. Jeez. And I'm not allowed to go outside my room after 10 either. Step to the bathroom, hopefully. Good thing you have a phone. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Should also invest in a flashlight. Yeah. Did, haven't we already been outside of the room after 10 when we like,、yeah. went to the bathroom and stumbled into the That attic. secret attic? It, he seems like he's not acknowledging it, though. He hasn't brought up any of that stuff since. They have little foldable ones about the size of a cell phone these days. You have a phone! Well, that really drains the battery. 
She didn't take his charger. She just took his phone. Mm. This is way too early for lights out anyway, you slice it. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I change into the clean pajamas set aside for me and crawl into bed. Ever since I was injured in that accident, part of me has resisted lying down like this. Because it reminds you of that hospital bed? I used to hate letting my body get comfortable, and even more so if it meant sleeping in a soft bed. Huh. From what I hear, it caused a lot of trouble for Keiko when I first stayed with the RMS. I always slept like a rock, but I hated going to sleep. I announce it to myself, even though it should go without saying. I take off my glasses and close my eyes. I only had trouble sleeping when I was a child. Now, once I close my eyes, I can fall asleep. Just as well as... Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, we did this already. Oh dear. Bayo, not, not now. A strange cry washes over my ears like a wave. The howl of an animal. It sounds too high to be a dog. It rings in my eardrums. Is it howling at the moon? There's a gnawing pit in my stomach. The howling brings on a headache. The sound doesn't stop. It's like a bullet rattling around the inside of my skull. Jeez. It's really going. <laughs> Oh, Nasu nice and his repetition. <laughs> I throw on my glasses and open my eyes. The dog is still howling somewhere outside the window. The clock has just struck 11. How am I supposed to sleep like this? Yeah, really? <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from outside the mansion. On the grounds or outside the mansion's grounds? I seriously doubt I can fall asleep like this. That would be rather difficult. Well, throw a rock at it. I get up from bed and change into my school uniform. Why? Because they didn't want to have to design a different outfit, I guess. We don't show them anyways. The others must be having trouble sleeping too. I'm the only man in the mansion, so I should go see what's happening. Ah, yes. That ballsy attitude is definitely not going to cause any problems. Well, you're assuming Goto Psyche went home. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, boy. Just leaving, huh? I head outside. The night is eerily still, like it's been frozen in place. The moon is hidden <coughs> by the clouds. Even the light from the lamppost is perfectly constant, like splotches of fallen paint on a canvas. Still going, wow. Sounds like it's getting further away, though. Yeah, a little bit, doesn't it? Strangely enough, the howling seems weaker now that I'm outside. Wow, that's weird. I hope the howling wasn't coming from inside the house. Or is it fading away? Eh, doesn't matter. The nagging pain it's causing isn't in my ears, but my brain and eyes. Huh. 
Hearing it sets my heart pumping and my whole body on edge. Feeling I can't control at all. Each step feels heavy. I've lost some feeling in the tips of my fingers. Then, I realize something. I can see my breath. Pale white against the cold. It's quiet outside the estate. Like someone hit the pause button. My shadow is the only thing moving in this motionless world. I feel thirsty for some reason. The high walls bordering the estate stretch alongside the darkened road. I warm rumbling fingers with Numbing my... fingers. Sorry, yes. <laughs> With my breath, walking towards where I suspect the dogs have gathered. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not ominous at all. All thought ceases. Under the distant streetlight is something I've never seen before. Something no one should ever see. An incomprehensible sight. A man in a coat. Well, there's something at the at his feet. Oh. A dog, half melted. Oh. What is that? Oh. A long blade pointed downward. Like a spear? What is that? A howl dissolving with the dog. Uh, a blade stabbing down. Yeah. Oh. A roar that makes me question my sanity. Or maybe a sudden gale. Huh. As the wave threatening to rupture my eardrums disappears, so does the howling and the dog along with it. Like they never existed in the first place. Dissolved into nothingness without a trace. Is this an illusion? What I'm seeing is a hallucination. That or a dream. Is this an illusion? A strange figure stands under the light cut out from the darkness. Is it wearing a coat? The silhouette in the thick coat doesn't seem to have noticed me standing there yet. Maybe back up a slowly? My throat grows dry. My whole body is sweating. The night air sticks to my skin. Despite just standing here, I feel a pressure like I'm at the bottom of the ocean. This hole in Holland. What the hell? A language from a far off land enters my ears. I'm so dizzy, it feels like I should pa could pass out. I'm narrowly able to muster some strength in my legs and prevent myself from falling. And then... Huh. All I see is an ordinary, empty public road. <sighs> I gasp as my lungs hungrily suck in oxygen. I hadn't noticed, but it seems I hadn't been properly breathing ever since I left the main gate. Like holding your breath for some reason? There's no howling to be heard anymore. I leave behind the terrible vision I've seen. Well, that was ominous. I returned to my room. Yeah. It didn't seem like the others are still awake. I guess I was the only one bothered by the howling. <laughs> it's strange. My head is still pounding. <laughs> My fingers are quivering. Yeah, some adrenaline still My going. Body shivers. My spine is freezing. If I were to compare it to something, 
It's like my spinal cord had been torn out and replaced with a pillar of ice. Ew. What? Nausea hits me like a sack of bricks. Is this my usual anemia? Feels like the contents of my head are being dumped out onto the floor. I see something I don't want to see on the way down. Do you have your glasses on? Even oh. with my glasses on, I can see the lines. Oh, that's not good. Bile rises in my throat as my eyes recoil from the sight. The result of trying to avoid seeing them these past seven years. My mind can't take this. I feel sick. The dizziness from my anemia has my stomach trying to escape through my throat. Sotaro. Alko, the glasses are broken. I don't understand. As long as my eyes are open, the scribbles continue to invade my senses. Hopefully, though I kind of feel like it's not. I somehow make it to my bed. Yes, I should just go to sleep. That's the quickest way to deny the reality in front of me. <laughs> yep. My body won't move how I want it to. So I'll stay like this. Like a corpse. Huh. I'll just sleep like a puppet with its strings cut. Okay, well that was the second day, I guess. That was the second day. Whew. Uh, yeah, let's save. Not least of which, because we are at time! Yeah, that seemed a little longer than I thought, but that's alright. Day three, Impulse, Impulse inversion. inversion. Oh, great. Well, so next time, the morning of the third day... And we'll see if Shiki is uh, able to go to school after that episode. We've got three choice points on day three. Nice, okay. And then two more on day four before our ability to die. Yay, that's coming up. Yeah. I mean, we're already seeing some freaky shit, though, so I'm not surprised there's some early dead ends. Yeah, but we'll finally be able to start dying until <laughs> we get to day four. Yeah. And then we'll get tiger dojos, sort of. Sort of, yeah. Not Just not with Taiga and Ilya. Probably. Right, not with Presumably, that. anyways. No. At SD Kohaku and Hisui, maybe? In uh, the original one, it was CL. Oh, really? Yeah, Teach Me a CS CL Sensei was the original segment. Hmm. So we'll see how that goes if they did anything with it. But that is all going to... Probably be until next time, depending on how fast we get to the third day. Yeah. So, that's something to look forward to. Yep, yep. I eagerly await to see who kills us first. Yeah, right? <laughs> There's so many suspects. Everybody's a suspect, basically. <laughs> Boy. Except Kahaku. I, I kind of don't suspect her of much of anything nefarious at the moment. I feel like the maids aren't a threat at the moment, but we'll yeah. see how that goes. I could definitely see Akiha getting us killed, whether intentionally or otherwise. <laughs> I mean, the school is full of suspicious people now. Well, I mean, CL has a odd interest in us, and CL, is probably the with the church. The teacher is definitely has an odd interest with us, and is probably with the church. Ari he might also be a vampire. Uh, Ari Hiko, and Satsuki might find a way to get us killed by accident. Yeah, I don't think they're like actively malicious, but, but we might die like, because of them. Right. It seems like their decisions could get us killed. Uh, we've got. Bandage Man. Yeah, we, we've got Psyche. We've got Spear Killer Man. Whatever the hell that uh, thing was. I, I do think spooky, like, small, small middle, middle school girl who threw a phone at us is probably not likely to kill us and she seemed to have saved us from getting dead. Yeah, I think she saved I think, us from something trying to draw us on our side, possibly. Or is 
just trying to stop whatever's killing people. Possibly that, too. So, so yeah. yeah. We might be safe from her. She might not kill us, at least. At least not directly. Yeah, not directly. And we haven't even met Arcid yet. Yeah, our, so. our seed's still missing. Yeah. Boy, and things are already fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what happens on the third day. But until then, we'll catch you later.